Greetings, zombie slayers! Slippy Jim here, bringing you some custom zombies on Call of Duty World at War for PC. This is a pretty special map released, obviously, for Christmas by TMG. And uh, this is uh, basically a remake, a Christmas remake of the good old Last Stand map. And this is one of my all-time favorite maps ever in custom zombies. This is an epic map. For some reason, though, I haven't brought you guys Last Stand uh yet on my channel so i'm going to show you guys this map a few things have been changed around in this uh, christmas version but uh we'll try and work it out as we go along and uh looks like the starting pistol is a little bit different the asp there's usually another pistol in this uh, in this starting area which is super beast but it looks like they've taken it out so uh, we'll open up this door and get out of here pretty early you can see we've got some custom looking zombies, they kind of look a little bit like the uh, the uh, fire zombie from uh, Shangri-La and Black Ops. And the box is down in the usual spot I think, underground. Yeah, it looks pretty epic, i got to say the snow, the snow looks really, uh, really good. Of course in Australia, Christmas time, what's this, the USP will grab that because I kind of need a gun. Oh yeah, in Australia it's like the middle of summer or pretty much the start of summer here actually and uh, so it's always super hot around Christmas here in Australia. So I don't really get the Christmas with the snow and everything like that but um, I know in a lot of uh, Northern Hemisphere countries they do get that which would be pretty cool because the Christmasy style food is more suited to uh, to cold weather I guess like you know the puddings and all that stuff that people eat traditionally. But uh, actually, I don't even I don't even do Christmas. It's uh, just like another day of the year to me. But uh, I certainly accept all the gifts and best wishes that people give me. Now uh, let's move through here. Uh, the M14. Yeah, they've changed some of the weapons around a little. Whoa! What the heck? This ice is uh, is pretty cool. It's super slippery. That's uh, that's a really cool effect that they put in here. I wonder, I wonder how he's done that. That's that's pretty nice. I like that. And uh, we'll get some jug a little bit later. This is where it's located next to this tank. This USP is pretty beast. I gotta say, it's uh, getting the job done for me here. The main uh, worry early on in this map is always the dog rounds if you're playing solo, because uh, he doesn't uh, really let you get any good weapons until you've opened up quite a way into the map in this, which is pretty good. It's kind of a well-balanced map in terms of difficulty. I really enjoy playing this map. As well as the level of detail. Just everything about this map is awesome. He's got Easter eggs going in this map. Hidden stuff you got to find and all that stuff as well. So we'll hopefully be working all that out and going for the uh, Bible ending and stuff as we go through. I did want to bring you guys this map co-op. Uh, I've tried it a couple of times co-op. Uh, more recently, this particular version of it. Uh, the other guy was having some difficulty getting this map to load. Because it does seem to use a lot of memory and resources. This map does cause problems sometimes people that have low-end computers. More so than uh, some of the more basic zombies maps. Okay, I wonder if we're going to get dogs here. So usually on top of this, there's, uh, there's like a... Oh, there's the... Um, Meteorite there, it's usually down there. They've moved that a little bit around the map. There's three of those that you have to uh, that you have to shoot to I think it unlocks the Bible ending area. Whoa, I like that. Uh, I like that grenade. That's definitely trademark uh, quiz right there. A lot of the guns have been brought across from uh, this, the version 2 of the quiz map and they are awesome guys. These are some of the best custom zombies guns you will you will see in any map. Oh god, I'm in trouble here. Let's hope this PM, PM63 is going to uh, bail me out a little bit here. If I can survive this dog round, I'll probably be good. Okay, we get the max ammo, thank god for that. Yeah, guys, uh, but as I was saying, some of the best custom guns in Custom Zombies are, are by TMG and Quiz and those guys. Uh, oh, there's uh, one of the Pack-a-Punch things you have to shoot right there. So they've obviously moved them around a bit and the um, camouflage 
if you can call it that, texture or whatever. Let's turn on the power here, it is quite different as well. So, yeah. I'm going to have to uh, find them all over again in this version of the map. At least I know kind of what to look for. So I've got to find two other meteorites and two other uh, two other of those pack punch things as well. Uh, pack punch obviously opens up the pack punch room, which is like a secret room, and uh, the meteorites up for the bottle ending area. This map has a pretty cool bottle ending as well. I don't know if they've changed that part of it or not, but we'll wait and see. Let's grab that uh, double points in a second here. This PM63 is actually pretty good. I'm liking it. Alright. Um, yeah, the last time there was one of those pack punch things back here, I wonder if they've moved it somewhere around this area. Or if it's further on in the map. Can't see it in there. I don't know where they would have put it. Obviously. <laughs> But I can buy a jug anyway, we'll get that. That'll uh, make the next dog round quite a bit safer. This map can get pretty intense, and that's why I wanted to play it co-op, because it's just so much fun to camp in this map with the beast weapons that you can get. I love camping down in the tunnel area that you'll see a bit later. Hopefully. <laughs> if we survive. Oh, God. Yeah, so... Those grenades are pretty awesome. I haven't actually played uh, the second version of Quiz yet because uh, it looks just too... It look, I don't know, some of these remake maps, there's a lot of remade custom maps coming out and I just don't have that much motivation to go back and play a map and play to death already in the previous version unless there's a lot different in it. And I know that he did change quite a lot in, in uh, Quiz 2, like the Easter egg and the ending and all of that. There's a lot of new areas actually put work into it, but some reason I haven't been motivated to go and play that. I'll have to go back and play it because these guns are awesome, guys. Wait till you see what's in the mystery box in this. What have we got here? The suppressed mini Uzi. Hmm, I don't know how much power that's going to have to help me camp back here, but I might actually have to get it depending on the ammo situation. Let's get out of there. It's a little bit of a death trap unless you have a good, a good gun of some kind. Okay, let's finish off those zombies and move into uh, the next round. <clears throat> I've got enough points now to get a gun, but not enough to get a gun and open up the next... Well, the next area is three grand anyway. Let's just get this thing. we got some turrets here, although they're not exactly in the prime position for taking out zombies. That would be good if, if you could kind of point them at the entrance. That would be... Wow, that's different. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh my god, this thing is, uh, I don't know, this suppressed doozy is a bit weird. Let's see how many we can take out with this, these grenades that I've got. It's actually got a pretty slow reload animation as well. The PM63 is better, that's for sure. Trouble is, I don't really have much ammo in that thing. It's not going to last. Very long at all. That's the bad. Oh god! Luckily, there's only three zombies left. Let's get this thing reloaded. So you can obviously camp here a lot longer if you have more than one player. Okay, I'm gonna open that, and this opens up the area down here where the box is always located to start with. Here, that's really cool. I love those. Uh, I love those snowmen holding up the mystery box. That's genius. These guys are very, very good at what they do. Okay, Seiko. The Seiko TRG-42. This is not a gun I'm familiar with. I wonder where they've got this from. Maybe it's a COD-4 gun. I'm not too sure. I haven't played COD-4 for a long, long time. And I'm not a sniper, so not super familiar with which snipers they have in that. Oh, uh, here we go. It's a one-hit kill. Beautiful. Can have me dogs. Damn, did I miss with that? Let's try again. Okay, that's kind of failing. We'll just have to use the... 
use the sniper in a second. Only three dogs anyway. Oh, collateral. Beautiful. Two dogs with one bullet. Let's get that. And I don't have enough for that 3,000, so we'll hit the box again and try and get rid of this mini Uzi for something else. Oh yeah, the Tesla C1000. This guy's is one of my favorite guns from when I used to play the uh, Last Stand Elite version of this map. It's not that great non-pack punched. It's, uh, it only kills, it's a one hit kill, so it's obviously good. But uh, it, it doesn't chain like the Wonder Wolf uh, until you pack a punch it. So that is what we're going to try and do a bit later on. It's kind of like the Zap Gun non-pack punch in that it's one hit kill. But it doesn't chain. Anyway. This snipe is actually pretty good here. Quite liking it actually. Let's try and get a bit of a train happening here. It's a shame they didn't um, customize the zombies to be more Christmas themed. Sort of like the U UGX Christmas map. That's pretty awesome. Eh? I know they did get the zombie skins from uh, Killing Floor, but still, they look amazing. I don't care where they get them from, really. But um, I don't know if those weird looking alien stole zombies kind of fit the Christmas themed map, but still. Well done getting it out in time for Christmas, guys, because I was getting a bit worried. I was getting a bit worried, especially since Christmas comes a day early in Australia. Like everything else, including the apocalypse, it never happened. But, uh, yeah, I was going to be worried we weren't going to get this map before Christmas, and now uh, we just got in time. Uh, cutting things a bit fine. What are these? Custom Bettys or something? What the heck? Vector. I'll give it a go. I think it's silenced. Whoa! Oh my god! What the heck? That is crazy, man. It's like a goddamn... It's like a goddamn water slide or something through this tunnel here. It's just put ice the whole way through. It actually makes it super dangerous. It's a bit hard to control where I'm going with this. Man, the rate of fire on this thing is epic. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go down there. Let's hit that because it's getting a little bit tricky. What do we got back here? Oh, there's another one of those things. Let's shoot that. We've just got the one more now. It's a shotgun. A Winchester or something. And I think this is usually 3,000, I think. But yeah, it's kind of not so great. Hanging out in this tunnel area here. Let's chuck one of these bad boys down. Those Bettys that I got. Custom Bettys. Be interested to see what they're like. This is the last zombie here. So I need to build up like 3,000 points to get out of here. It's actually super hard to control yourself on this ice. Uh, what's that? An MP40, 1200. Um, I don't want to really... Sp what the hell is this? Hip... Does this help with hip firing or something? Hmm. I wonder if that made my crosshairs smaller or something. Yeah, maybe it does make my crosshairs smaller. But uh, what would have been more useful for hip firing in uh, PC is uh, the uh, something like a red, red um, a laser sight. That would have been pretty good. I've seen that in some custom maps, like uh, some TMG maps, I think. See, this is this is what Track should have done with Black Ops 2 zombies. They should have just put some crazy awesome weapons in there. But instead, we just get the jet gun and uh, some regular style guns and the ray gun, for God's sake, that we've had for more war. Where's the innovation, guys? Seriously. Oh, like I know they probably don't want to want to uh, unbalance the guns too much, but it's it's zombies for God's sake. They just have to make the maps harder if the guns are overpowered. That's what I'd rather see: hard maps with overpowered guns. Hey, 
if we get enough of the ordinary guns in uh, multiplayer. Okay, let's um, whittle these zombies down to the last one. Sweet. Round 12 here. Let's have a look in here. What have we got? Thompson. And round drum, is it? And speed cola. So we'll save up and get that. That'll help out a fair bit later. Let's just have a look around, see if we can find the third. Uh, the third. Was this open before? I think there might have been a barrier back there. But can't remember. Okay, we got a barrier here for 4,000 points. Pricey. I think he intended, this is the impression I get anyway, I think he intended it to be like a last stand area right at the end there, but I never ever try and camp there. 